Magandang umaga Pilipinas, oras sa hudya at labing apat na minuto makalipas ang alas sa is ng umaga. Sa punto pong ito, alamin naman natin yung inaasaha magiging lagay ng panahon at ang agwat ng temperatura sa iba't ibang bahagi nitong ating bansa. Unang-una po sa ating listahan ay itong Luzon para sa mga dadayo sa Tagaytay, makikiayon sa inyo ang ating all good weather condition. Ibig sabihin niyan, magpapakita si Haring Araw at kung uulan man, yan po ay mga pulo-pulo at mga panandalian lamang. Perfect din yung ating mga babag temperatura sa inyong paghigok ng mainit at nabulalo dahil inaasahan natin ang temperaturang sa pagitan ng 19 hanggang 30 degrees Celsius. Sa Olonga po naman, bahagyang mainit ang panahon ay sa pagitan ng 23 hanggang 33 degrees Celsius ang inaasahan nating temperatura. Check na rin natin for Metro Manila para po sa mga akababayan natin magsisimba o yung mga bibisita sa Quiapo Church. Hindi rin kay bibigo ay ng ating all good weather condition. Temperatura, 23 hanggang 32 degrees Celsius. Sa Baguio City, bahagyan na rin umaakit yung ating temperatura. Pagitan na lamang yan ng 12 hanggang 25 degrees Celsius. Para naman sa ating mga taga-subaybay sa Visayas areas, dito po sa Tacloban, maging sa Iloilo, Bacolod, at Metro Cebu, pang kalahatang maaliwalas na panahon din, ang inaasahan nating iiral. Ang kaibahan lang, posible yung mga pulupulong pag-ulan o yung mga pagkilat at pagkulog o yung tinatawag nating thunderstorms, lalong-lalo na sa hapon o kaya naman ay sa gabi. Check na rin natin para kumpleto na dito po sa bahagi nitong Mindanao. Sa Cagayan de Oro, Metro Davao, and Zamboanga, pang lahat ang maaliwalas na panahon din ang ating inaasahang iiral sa maghapon. Ang kaakibat na temperatura niyan, bahagyang mataas, maaaring umabot ng 23 hanggang 33 degrees Celsius. Stay hydrated lamang sa ating mga kababayan. Samantala, para po sa ating mga kababayang siklista, nakaschedule na ba ang inyong Sunday ride ngayong umaga? Bago yan, halina't ma-inspired sa isang natatanging cycling race sa bansa, ang Le Tour de Filipinas. Narito po ang ating ulat. Filipinas, Filipino young riders are making waves in this year's tour, aiming to end the country's three-year drought in this prestigious Le Tour de Filipinas. One of them is a 25-year-old Boots Ryan Cayubit who joined the Philippine national team under former Olympian Norberto O'Connor as coach. High school pa ako, mahilig na talaga ako sa bisikleta. Tapos may nakilala ako na may siklista na taga rin sa amin na hinikayat ako para ma- magkaroon ng interes sa pamimisikleta. Kasi yung ibang kasama ko dito, mas nauna sa akin mamisikleta yun. Kaya yun, nahilig ako sa sports na ito, sa cycling. Meanwhile, 2015 Asian Juniors Road Cycling Medalist Rostam Lim, who had a mechanical problem during the first stage, tried to regain his glory today. Malaking preparation namin na maglaro dito sa, sa Lito dahil galing kami ng Australia na nag, naglaro ng Australia ng February 1. 27-year-old Filipino rider Julius Mark Bonzo rode for the CCN Cycling Team, a continental team based in Brunei. Sana makabalik ako yung pit ko sa uh, mga international team na ganitong laro. Mga bebang, back to reality na naman eh kasi... Ang tagal ko rin na hinto sa mga ganitong karere. Being the captain of the Philippine national team, George O'Connor has one important goal. Halos lahat yan malakas kasi hindi naman pupunta rito yan kung, ano, kung hindi sila preparado talaga. Eh. Lahat yan nagprepara kaya hindi mo rin malaman kung sino yung malakas o mahina. Kaya tingin ko lahat na ang kasali dito. Po lahat yan kailangan tignan. Cycling with our Filipino young riders were new squads from Malaysia. 
the United Arab of Emirates, Kuwait, and Uzbekistan. This is the first time that the Tour de Filipinas is mounting the road race here in Sorsogon, bringing sports tourism in the Bicol region. Stage 2 spanned a distance of 177.35 kilometers from Sosogon to Naga, which covered two sprint zones and one King of the Mountain challenge. This route exhibited the grandeur of Mayon Volcano and featured a flat track in the first 100 kilometers. Kenan cycling team's Jai Crawford started a three-man breakaway and became a solo leader for more than 80 kilometers. He also managed to keep the lead through the KOM but was left behind by the rushing pack in the last 30 kilometers of the course. Filipino riders fared poorly in the last 5 kilometers with John Mier having a bad crash along the descent trail. Edgar Nieto finished 8th on the first stage, placed 2 ranks further on the second day, arriving at the finish line 2 minutes behind Daniel Whitehouse. Sean Whitefield owned the stage by clocking in at 4 hours, 19 minutes, and 21 seconds. Um, just uh, managed to hang on over the KOM and after on the descent, uh, it was quite hairy. Um, it was wet and uh, just managed to hang on. Uh, and then coming into the final, the Oliver's Real Food Racing Team got on the front, uh, made sure no brakes could stay away. And then come within the last kilometre, I was in good position and I just... Uh, just started my sprint 300 meters to go and held on. Uh, tomorrow we try and get, get myself over the climb um, and then I've proven that I have the legs so uh, maybe, maybe we can get another win or maybe another two wins, we don't know yet. Having the same clock in time along with 26 other riders, LX Cycling San Hung Park and Kuwait Cartucho S Fernando Grijalba were awarded second and third place respectively. Team Ukyo received the Best Team Award. Thank you.